Yeah, so how's it going everybody? Hope you're all doing alright on this Saturday evening and hopefully you've not spent £14.99 in some fat cat's back pocket. Um, I'm just enjoying a nice refreshing beverage after Manchester United have beaten Newcastle United four goals to one up at the St James's Park. So, cheers everybody. And it was, a, it was just what we needed, to be honest. Off, off the back of that 6-1 battering by Spurs last time out. Lots of pressure on Oli heading into this game. Needless pressure um, and media-driven pressure, um, but it was pressure nonetheless, both on Oli and some of the players. And we got off. Uh, uh, well, the starting lineup really was the first thing. And I'll be honest, when I saw that starting lineup, I was dreading it because I, I, it, it's one of those. If you win, it looks like a master stroke. But if you lose, then the knives are out even more. And thankfully, thankfully it was the former and we were able to get a win. Um, but like I said, I wasn't confident seeing that starting eleven, And we got off to the worst possible start. I mean, Luke Shaw's the one who puts the ball in the back of his own net. Even though really there's not much he could do about that. But what I will say is in the build up to that goal... Victor Lindelof gets turned so easily by Callum Wilson on the far side that leads up to that goal. It's scary how easy he got turned. Uh, so I do think there's still question marks, even though we went on to win pretty comprehensively. I still think there's a few question marks and I still think we are desperate for a proper, decent partner alongside Slabed. And it was, in fact, Slabed who actually ended up getting us on level terms. Uh, corner. We scored from a corner, direct from a corner. I mean, that's the second, I think, of this, this year. Um, and bullet header, great header, and just what he needed as well. Really, hopefully, that brings some confidence back to his game. You could see a little bit that it was almost like a weight lifted off his shoulders when he scored that goal. Didn't really celebrate all that much because I just think he wanted to get on with the game. But... It's got to have done wonders for his confidence. And he had a pretty decent game, pretty solid game throughout, did Harry Maguire. Uh, and really chuffed to see him get that goal and be calamity free. Because he needs this. He needs to build a little bit of confidence and, and all that sort of stuff. And any United fans that are slagging off Maguire, I don't mind people saying that he needs to be rested. Fair enough. But people slagging him off saying he's not good enough, get in the bin and go and support a different club that, that likes that sort of... Fans, I hear them down in North London do. Um, but yeah, glad to see him get on the score sheet. And that was real. And to be honest, it was it was it showed that we were responding well, even to going a goal behind so early on. The response from the side, including that equalising goal from Harry Maguire, was pleasant to see. And I think that did the players good as well to see them uh, to get a bit of confidence behind them and to see them respond so well and and have the character to do that and we were deserving of the equaliser heading into heading into half time um, then the, into the second half of course United ended up getting a penalty so the media says but what the media won't tell you is it was a penalty slight penalty it was an innocuous one there wasn't much in it. But there was enough in it to get the penalty. So I don't care what anybody else says. It was a penalty. Um, but the most shocking thing about tonight wasn't the fact that we ended up conceding. Wasn't the fact we ended up scoring four. Wasn't even the fact that one of our scorers scored his first ever professional goal in professional football. It was the fact that Bruno Fernandes had his penalty saved. I mean, Alex Tellez must be rubbing his hands together. On the, on the bench because between him and Bruno we've got two high quality penalty kick takers and yeah I think Alex Tellers might be uh, wanting if he's on the pitch that is to be getting on the next one should we get one um, and at that point it, it had a bit of a feat at times it could have felt like that's going to come back to hurt us but we're in such control of the game that that I was confident we'd still go and create more chances and that's exactly what we did and Bruno Fernandes making up for that penalty miss, if you will, even though it was saved with a fantastic counter-attacking goal, starting all the way back at our own 18-yard box from a Harry Maguire header to Donny van der Beek, who did really well on the turn, plays it into uh, Juan Mata 
who plays it into Marcus Rashford and then slips it, lovely little touch from Rashford into Bruno and spanks it into the top corner opposite uh, opposite side of the goal. And it was a, it was a, qu a quintessential United counter-attack goal. We say about United not having that type of goal, that United goal, like City have with the pullback from the from the byline. This counter-attacking goal is what I would say is that United goal. We saw it throughout the 90s under Ferguson from the Peter Schmeichel big lob out from the back. And we've seen it a couple of times now and this one was every bit as good. Fantastic team goal to, get us in, to put us in front. Um, then the third goal, I hope people are sitting down from this, Aaron Wambasaka finally gets his first professional goal in professional football. Obviously, his first goal in the United shirt. And, I mean, first goal ever. Prolific, I think the term is. But it was a fantastic finish. And I don't think he'll ever be able to hit a finish that well again. Uh, inside, into the top right and uh, top left-hand corner. Uh, yeah, top left-hand corner. Excellent finish. But by that stage, I think Newcastle had kind of resigned themselves to getting beaten. United took advantage and smelled a bit of blood. And it was good to see, though, Aaron Wambasaka getting into those positions. That's what we need him to do more. That's what we need Luke Shaw to do more. And when Alex Tellez finally gets his debut, that's what we need him to do as well, even though he isn't that type of player. And then rounding off the game, the fourth goal, deep in injury time, Marcus Rashford deserved deservedly gets on the score sheet. Did a lot of running up top on his own. Did a lot of work, in that, especially in the first half um, when we were trying to go long into the channels. He was doing a lot of running along with Dan James and he deserved that little bit of goal, that little bit of luck in front of goal. And he seems to be in that little bit of a run of form that Marcus gets into. And boy, do we need that heading into this next batch of fixtures. But overall, like I say, it was exactly what we and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer needed from this game, even though we suffered that little bit of a setback earlier on, but we controlled the game throughout. Um, I thought Mata, Bruno were excellent throughout the game. I thought Maguire had his most assured performance for a good couple of months. Uh, even though Newcastle, I don't think are, are any great shakes, and I think they actually played into our hands a little bit because they, we've struggled with the press when they press high, the opposition. Newcastle didn't really press high. They allowed us to have the ball. They allowed us to have the ball in those areas at the back four and at the base of the base of the midfield. And that's where we built a lot of our attacks from, certainly the current attacks. So I think it played into our hands a little bit. So I do think that's something to keep in mind, even though we were at, it's a comfortable, confidence-boosting win this uh, like I say, Mata, Bruno, excellent. Maguire, assured. I thought Marcus did a lot of graft up front. I thought Dan James did okay. But for me, Dan James just hasn't got the necessary quality we need in a player at Old Trafford. Uh, and I'm hoping that the goal for Maguire boosts his confidence. The goal for wan hopefully boosts his confidence as well. And I just hope that... I think this win could have really put us give us a little bit of breath of fresh air into these players because I think they needed this win. This is the best we've looked this season so far and hopefully, hopefully we can carry this forward because we've got, like I say, some absolutely hellish sort of fixtures. PSG, Arsenal, Chelsea, Leipzig, Everton, uh, Wolves, I think we've got as well. So some really, really tricky fixtures and we need the players to get into that rhythm and to get up to the stage where we need them to be heading into this season. We all know the pre-season, lack of a pre-season hurt us. Hopefully now we're finally getting up to speed a little bit. As far as man of the match, I'm going to give it to Juan Mata. Juan Mata was excellent today, even though when I saw the, when I saw the lineup, I thought that playing Mata, he's just not got it anymore. And I still don't think he has it for certain games, but certain games I think he's excellent in. And this was one of those games we dominated possession, we did, he didn't really need to be bombing on and running and, and all that sort of stuff because he quite honestly hasn't got the legs anymore. But I could watch him, Bruno, and even Van der Beek when he came on. I could watch them three knock the ball around the park just between them th themselves all day. Some of the touches 
and link up between him and Bruno. And then when Van der Beek came on, him as well were excellent. So I'm going to give it to Juan Mata. Big shout out to Bruno as well. Even though he missed the penalty, still chipped in with a goal and an assist. And I still don't think he's up to the level he was at last season yet either. So I think there's definitely room for us to grow. I think there is still things for us to sort out. But overall, I think it's much needed and a big confidence boosting win. Let me know your thoughts and your man of the match in the predict in the comment section below. And while we're at it, bang a like on the video, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.